Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. This video posted earlier, but all the audio got all messed up. I don't know what happened. My computer needed to be restarted or something. Anyway, uh, we are celebrating one year at Kitchen Table TCG today. This is one year since my last video. Make sure you go back and watch the video I posted earlier today where I'm giving away a box of Crucible of War First Edition. The box has been opened on that video for you. Just leave a comment in the comment section that tells you uh, tells me your favorite memory of Kitchen Table TCG in the last year. Uh, really Really excited very humbled and excited and uh, thankful that I get to be a part of this community and I get to do the videos like this for you thank you to all the patrons thank you to all the people who watch the video and hit the like button and subscribe and comment and all that stuff uh, it is humbling to be a part of the community uh, let's get into this EV video because I gotta get this kid to bed um, and uh, this is the second time I've done the video today so uh, let's get in there if you want access to all this stuff as a collection tracker head on over to patreon.com slash kitchen table TCG it gets you access to the collection tracker as well as a discount code from midtown merchant uh the the armory events that you get access to the discord server all the good stuff uh the collection tracker anyway let's hop into tales of aria and see what the things are worth right now box prices are kind of in a little bit of a bizarre position uh we had oops that's the wrong button we had uh some things pop up and it, it just seems like uh channel fireball or card shop live uh, they are the same thing uh, is putting a lot of boxes on the market. You've got uh, cases being sold for $329.99 uh, that puts single box prices at around 85, uh, even up to 90. I think I'm tracking it right now at 90. Let me check out what I did. It's been an hour. Okay. Yeah. So I'm tracking it at 90. Uh, if you're on Facebook, that's just kind of what you're going to be paying. If you're on TCG player, it's a little bit more expensive, especially after the 15% uh, off sale this pe previous week. Uh, but that's about where prices are. Uh, you know, you know, about a hundred bucks probably if you're really going to pay for it, but, uh, anywhere from, from 90 to a hundred, it's all over the place by a case. It's much cheaper as well. Looking at the fable at Corsham, uh, we're seeing sold listings, uh, at around 500. I think I'm tracking it at 480 based on some stuff on Facebook too. That was at 475 and then 488 here on TCG player for Corsham. You can see some sold listings at like 498. 499 uh it's dropped down from like the five 550 price point that it was at last week so uh that seems to be where we are here on Corsham uh going from 500 to a little bit soft at like 480 uh and then as we go on to the legendaries some softness in the legendaries not really much only a dollar down um it's weird though the, the ones that were higher priced have dropped down the ones that are lower priced have moved up so like heart of ice is actually up like 15 bucks You've got uh, Spellbound Creepers is actually up $5. That's a card that saw a lot of great play uh, in the U.S. Nationals. I think there will be a little bit of attention on that card this week based on the play in the U.S. Nationals. You've got New Horizon that's down a little bit. Rampart of the Rand's Head that's up a little bit. So all over the place. I would want to show this off. Um, it, the way that these are laid out right now, th there's no rhyme or reason. To, I, I really thought like the class specific ones, so like where it says Guardian, Runeblade, or Ranger, I thought those prices were going to kind of look the same. And then I thought the um, the kind of talent system ones would look the same. But there really is no rhyme or reason yet to these. You know, you've got Spellbound Creepers and Heart of Ice as the low lower tier legendaries. And those are not the same kind of type. And then you've got the higher tier ones are New Horizon and the Rampart. And those are also, I guess those are both Guardian. Uh, but you could throw Crown of Seeds in there too. You get what I'm saying? There's no rhyme or reason to what the prices are. They're just kind of true legendary prices based on the utilization of the cards. Uh, going to the regular cold foils, uh, uh, some significant softness. Let's go to the, um, the overall here. Uh, some significant softness, about 4% across the board. The commons are down 6% uh, and the majestics are down 3%. Uh, the common, somebody's trying to keep these up a little bit. You've got stuff like Deep Blue is moving up a little bit. You've got uh, Honing Hood. Some of the ones that like definitely seem like they're going to actually see some play are on the kind of rise, but then kind of just the regular ones that don't really have utilization are just having a hard time staying afloat. The pulses are a little soft this week, about $5 down on average. And then the, the weapons, it's kind of all over the place. Winter's Whale is going up. Whereas Voltaire is going down and then Duskblade is still going down. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens when you have $340 cases being sold. If we'll see more uh, product entering the market and therefore more singles entering the market. We'll see what happens. 
uh, yeah, it's you know it's interesting, uh, especially when you start seeing unlimited come. I don't know. Um, your extended art rainbow foil. Did I tell you your averages yet? Uh, your averages there for the common is sitting at ten dollars and fifty-five cents. For the majestic is at sixty. Your uh, let's see, this is Channel Lake Frigid. This is the alt art. There was one that sold for on one hundred and sixty-eight dollars and fifty cents. Uh, so that's the price I'm going with. Uh, there's some other ones that sold too, but you've got kind of an average here of like 165 to 168. Uh, nothing really changing this week from last week. Now let's get into the Majestics. You're going to see some significant softness here. There's your percentages and then we'll look at the prices. Uh, but I wanted to highlight that like Ice Storm and Light It Up and Frost Lock, all these Ranger cards are actually moving up. I think that's due to the play that we saw uh, in the U.S. Nationals, especially in the top eight. There was a really great Lexi deck that was floating around uh, that had, you even saw the chat saying, hey, everyone's going to hit up Frostlock. And uh, it was kind of funny to see that live. Uh, so that definitely happened. That deck ended up not pulling off the win off of a terrible three of a kind draw. Uh, but that's kind of how it goes. And I think the the market's definitely looking at, at Ice Lexi as a potential um, class to be specking on. Uh, but, you know, that being said, the percentages don't really give a lot of weight to the product either. Uh, you know, going up 50% when it's only 75 cents isn't going to really change your EV here, uh, but that's kind of just how it goes. So your average Rainbow Foil Majestic is still sitting at $3.83, which is actually down 7%. You saw in your percentages here, uh, mostly everything else that's not in that Ice Lexi deck is down this week. Even like Briar, uh, even where's Channel Mount Heroic, not able to hold up, sitting at six, down 6%. Um, and that card is uh, considered one of the best cards in the deck. So regular Majestics, a lot of the same, except for this way. Uh, you don't have as much of a spike. You don't have as much as losses. Um, it's just kind of evened out, you know, dust blade really taking a, a, a beating, but, uh, you've got some cards blink taking a beating that just aren't seeing play are just getting saturated in the market. Like a dust blade is 75 cents. A blink is 50 cents. Channel thunder step is 50 cents, but then you got like channel Lake frigid card. That's cards that are seeing play that are seeing a decent amount of money. Uh, but you have a lot of 75 cent cards there too. And then you have like the top card I think is Voltaire at $8. So, uh, right now, you're seeing an average for the Majestics at $2.63. Your rare rainbow foils, not really a whole lot going on. We're actually up 15% two weeks in a row, but you're still sitting at $0.51. Cents. Not really much. Uh, the only one I wanted to highlight here was this uh, Lightning Press Red, which is sitting at $6 as TCG low right now. So somebody is definitely specking on some of those or people just want them as rainbow foil. And there's actually a common that something is happening the same. We're gonna get through this video because it's time to go to bed here. Uh, there's a common, it's right here. The ball lightning, the red ball lightning is sitting at $2 as uh as that card is seeing a significant amount of play all right now let's get to the ev uh you've seen this before we've gone through this what is in a box and that kind of thing so we're going to skip right to it if you're going to look at the true ev and include the rares and commons you're sitting at 105 dollars per box uh my kind of way that i do it is if you're going to open up 40 box and hit all the majestics and all the fables that you pull in 40 boxes on average you'll be sitting at 99 dollars and 15 cents a box but if you're just going to open up a case and you don't want to include the chances of hitting a fable, you're going to be sitting at $87.15 a box uh, if you're kind of looking at just the Majestic through the Legendaries. And then if you're just opening up one box, you're going to sell the Majestics and the Rares and you get a Cold Foil Common, you're sitting at $33.55 a box. This is not to detract you from opening up product. Uh, the idea is here is to show you what your odds are and what the risk that you're going into this with is as well. You know, you do have a shot at hitting a $33 box. You also have a shot of hitting the Fable and hitting a box that's worth, you know, six, $700. So uh, that's the way this works. Uh, again, if you want access to the collection tracker, if you want access to the Discord server, the Midtown Merchant thing, if you want to support the channel, make sure you head on over to patreon.com slash kitchen table TCG. And thank you so much just for watching the videos, for subscribing, for being a part of this. I'm incredibly humbled and thankful to have given a year of my life to this YouTube channel and to be able to do that uh, and support my family and do the things that I need to do. So thank you to all of you who are watching and engaging with me in the comments. Make sure you go back and watch that video and get yourself entered into a giveaway uh, so that you can win yourself a Crucible of War first edition box. Hope you guys have a great day. Remember to be kind to the people around you and we'll see you again 
next video.